Hello, my name is John Browett and I'm the General Manager for the CC-Link Partner Association in Europe. And what we have here is a short series of videos which explain time-sensitive networking or TSN. So let's start out by taking a quick review of the current situation with industrial ethernet and networking and automation. Basically, how we got to where we are now is we went through a number of different stages of different network technologies over the last several decades. This has brought us to the point where industrial ethernet has pretty much become the standard for networking and automation. We now have a standardized rugged infrastructure which has addressed the so-called field bus wars that we had in the past where we didn't have a common physical layer. We also have improved transparency now. It's easier to integrate the so-called operational technology layer, the, the factory floor, with the IT layer, which control production and so on. We also have open systems available, so now we have a lot of multi-vendor interoperability. We can choose different devices from many different vendors to build the systems we need. And finally, we also have deterministic performance, so we know events are going to occur when we expect them to. Although industrial ethernet has addressed many of the issues that we had in the past, we still have a number of challenges left to address and the advent of Industry 4.0 is making this more acute. We still have multiple types of industrial ethernet. Although these technologies are open in themselves and therefore give you freedom of choice for different vendors and different devices, there's still not necessarily a good level of interoperability between the different types of industrial ethernet. Industry 4.0 has also made it much more important that we can share information between many different parts of a factory. Maintaining the information flow between so-called islands of automation is becoming a lot more important. Finally, IT is now becoming a key part of manufacturing and so therefore you're seeing a much greater convergence between the factory floor, the operational technology or OT layer and the higher level information technology levels, the IT levels. So we need to make sure we can continue to increase this convergence as the need to handle more and more information that's been generated as a result of Industry 4.0 is getting more and more urgent. We're still looking for a kind of holy grail, if you like. We're still looking for a single unified network architecture, one that will enable us to connect anything together, no matter where it is, what it is, or how many of them we have. And while still maintaining the ability to choose these devices from any vendor and still make them all work together, we still want to make sure that these networks are secure, that they're safe, that they're deterministic, easy to maintain, and so on. How do we move forward from this point? Well, one of the things we're definitely going to need is increased bandwidth. Gigabit Ethernet is becoming a requirement for moving forward with industrial Ethernet. So these are the kinds of technologies that we've already seen introduced with things like CC-Link IE. This bandwidth is also allowing us to share more information more easily and so therefore this is addressing the kind of requirements that Industry 4.0 is making on manufacturing. But is bandwidth the whole story? It's certainly important to get data from one place to another as quickly as possible. We also need to make sure that when it gets to where it's going, we know what to do with it and we can make sure that different systems can talk to each other. At the moment, there's around about six different types of industrial ethernet available. So how do we make them all talk to each other? It seems that the answer to all of these issues is in fact time-sensitive networking or TSN.